So we have the cast part. This is going to be the scaffold that we build our wax form over. You can see that the remaining sprues were located here, here, and here. Those were removed with a pair of little baby bolt cutters. And then, depending on the aesthetic choice, they can be sheared, cut across this angle, or the horn can be cut across at that angle, or the sprues themselves can be shaped into bony horn decorative elements. Uh, but we're going to time lapse doing the final dressing. You need to dress this whole component to the final weight so we can weigh it before we clad it in our next wax. Okay, so a lot of filing and sanding later, you get a bunch of horns, and they're all relatively uniform and smooth, and now you can take your pliers, and um, if you've got a good pair of the tapered round nose like this, that's going to work, but with these really heavy gauge horns, I just grab the bull nose. Um, I, I tend to embrace the texture, so you can just grab whatever portion you want. And then I'm actually holding on to the, the skull as I pull out to give that horn a little bit of curve. Okay, And so it's easier to file it while it's flat and then add your curve later. And uh, it's one of those things where if you don't want any texture, don't grab like a really coarse jaw plier. Get something with a smooth finish. But um, I actually like the texture that's showing up on... Most of the things that are horns imply some sort of wear, so we're just trying to give a little bit of curve to these. And then probably come in and dress it with a file a little bit later, so it's got more body texture. Uh, probably a coarse file. So now we've got some radiuses there, and then uh, we're going to bend. I think these will come up a little bit. moving the skull, so we'll actually pull the horns together against each other, like so, there we go, and then same story here, just use the plier jaws to work against horn A and horn B, to rotate them. You gotta be careful because if you've made your part really thin, like we have right here, too much torque will actually move the, the skull cap wider. So you can see it's very wide for the finger, and so these components will need to be squeezed back in. Um, and that's just a byproduct of making it very thin in that one location, like so. So we're just going to bend it back to place, and then make sure it fits on the original finger that we intended. So the middle finger fits quite well. Get that index out of the way. So we're looking at something like that. And then we'll just try and get this horn to pull in. And once everything's at its final finish, we'll weigh it up. Okay, so here is the final part before it gets clad in wax, and the last thing we need to do is make sure that we weigh what the bronze amount is before doing the entire uh, cladding of the wax. So this is something to write down in your notebook or your logbook. So 34.08 grams of bronze, and then from that we can subtract our bronze weight from our bronze plus our wax clad weight.